Hello everyone, welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and today we're going to check out Eurogen and we're going to start with analysis coming from FX Delta software. So what we're looking at is the scanner. As you can see, we have at the moment a Delta pattern on the lower time frames, which is four hour charting combo with intraday just excuse me about this one one second uh, so let's open here the software and the trading template and let's see what do we have now going to the four hour chart in order, in order to check where exactly do we stand and how does the pattern look like looks absolutely awesome if you ask me so i'm definitely looking to trade it now i'll switch to the higher time frames and try to figure out what's happening there, where the levels are, what is the overall structure of the market. One thing that becomes absolutely evident immediately is the breakout right here, All right? So knowing that I can immediately um, relate to this level on the lower time frames because there is a possibility for this thing to start pushing lower immediately, but I know that the level in our case a resistance level is slightly higher so i'm starting to keep that in, in the back of my head that there is a possibility for something like this to happen or sharp move up to happen up to this zone somewhere right i need to be trading from a strong key level this is what i'm trying to say so always try to make sure you have the bigger picture in place and you're not missing anything you can even go to the weekly chart if you wish to right you're going to find better levels there so uh in my case this is already too much i don't really need to go there what i can do is try to pinpoint a bit more in terms of levels and pretty much these few guys here plus this cluster zone all that is telling me that this is the zone the optimal zone where I would like to be selling. If we go back uh, a bit more to the left, we can see there is a level as well right here. And we're actually currently testing this zone. All right, right here. So as I said, we might be going down from this place. We might be going up to this zone. So how do we know where to trade it and how to trade it? Well, let me walk you through my process of thinking. Of course, everything I'm saying here is not a financial advice. Please do your research, uh, make sure you understand what you're doing and only then try to pull the trigger. So if we go down to the lower time frames, namely the four hour chart where the actual Delta pattern happened, um, what we can see is that we already have a structure on the lower time frames knowing that this is a zone on its own we can be already attacking with the reversal of course we can be already attacking based on this zone protection must be aggressive here in this case because otherwise it doesn't make any sense at least in my opinion what else we can say is that there is potential bearish hidden divergence as well which puts this bearish pressure to the downside so one way to handle it or let's call it scenario number one is trading this double wave which we can see on the lower time frames as well once uh there is a reversal there attacks right with a breakout going lower and the way i'm going to do it is splitting the risk into two parts i know i have Two zones to attack so this is where i'm going to be risking 50 percent and this is where i'm going to be risking another 50 percent why i put one here i don't know that should be 0.5 and 0.5 right so in case this works and it doesn't go to the optimal level i make money right in case it pushes up i get stopped out i have still capital to pursue this setup because nothing really changes about the bigger picture, right? It's only first attack. So I have enough room from my initial risk to go ahead and pursue second potential entry 
inside this zone, if it will be delivered, the price might be going up, right? Just breaking, invalidating everything, that's fine. Then I end up with half of the initial loss. So let's say, for example, every time you're trading, you risk 2%, right? That would mean in this case, 1% here, 1% there. So in this case, you will be losing only half of the initial risk. If this one works, however, the risk reward ratio clearly works in our favor, which means we will be making much more from the second and covering the loss from the first one and most likely making some money out of it. Um, let's talk a bit more about the second level. Now, the second level right here, as we mentioned, let's mark this all like this. We have a trend line as well. And what I would expect to happen if we get there is to see some kind of uh, larger structure developing, pushing towards this zone. And I would like to see this swing high holding. So pretty much this is going to be my invalidation level, if you wish, right? What else we can see is that the next zone in place, it could be the whole thing, it could be up to the spikes, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Now, the uncomfortable part is that this swing high here, if we can call it a swing high, of course, uh, falls in between those levels. So technically speaking, this one or that one makes a bit more sense, but this is already too much in terms of pips. What do I mean? If I will be trading and the price stops here and I start selling, let's say somewhere around here, push up, reversal, starts breaking. If I go ahead and protect right here, that's already 240, 50 pips. And if I look at to the downside in terms of targets, I need for the price to come to this zone in order to get one to one. That's not good for me. Okay. This level, as we have seen on the higher time frames, this one is good enough. It is supposed to hold. All right. You have lows here, you have lows here, you have swing high here. So let's not forget that this is a zone, it's not a level. And the bottom of this zone is below this swing high. So if I uh, connect this low with that zone, that gives me this larger buffer rectangle here, right? So if that happens, again, assuming something like here in terms of entries up to here, now this is 150, 160 versus the swing low is a 280. Right now it starts to make a bit more sense, right? Of course, the entry could be slightly higher, slightly lower. We'll see. But this is my process, process of thinking. I need to figure out all these small steps in advance. I need to figure out what will happen if I attack this zone uh, and it fails, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to handle it. What kind of risk am I going to involve in the whole setup all these questions you must be able to answer before you pull any triggers, okay? So if this is all confusing and a bit complex to you, you're probably just starting out and that's perfectly fine. Just make sure to put it on a piece of paper or notepad or something. Step one, step two, step three, step four, right? If this happens, what I'm going to do? If that happens, what I'm going to do? And then you just follow up on your plan. Okay, just make sure to cover all scenarios. Once you do that, there is no place for emotions. And it's very hard to make mistakes because you have it written down on your piece of paper. You got to be following it. Unless something extraordinary happens, you got to be following the plan. And if you're doing the plan on the go and uh, making decisions on the go, you will end up losing money. I can guarantee you that. All right, so that would be all for Euro EM. If you have any questions, of course, you know where to find me, guys. And that would be all. See you in the next video. Bye for now.